Hi, today we are going to learn about thermal analysis. So actually what do you mean by thermal analysis? As the name suggests, thermal means heat and we are analyzing the sample by supplying the heat. When you supply the heat to the sample, sample may undergo some changes like it may undergo physical change, it may undergo chemical change. Physical change like it may undergo phase transition from solid to liquid or liquid to gas etc. When you supply the temperature. Chemical change involves oxidation, reduction or decomposition. So these are the different type of changes which are going to occur in the sample when you supply the heat. So depending on the changes and depending on what actually we are studying through in the sample, the thermal analysis is categorized into three. One is TGA. What is TGA? TGA means thermogravimetric analysis. Second one is DTA. DTA means differential thermal analysis. And last one is DSC. DSC means differential scanning calorimetry. So I'll try to make this very simple. I'm not going to drag this topic in a, a lengthy way. We are going to uh, see this topic in a short form. So what is TGA? Name suggests thermogravimetric analysis. Here the we are studying the physical change in the sample that is its change in weight. Gravimetry means weight. Gravimetry, this G indicates gravimetry which means weight. So there is a change in the weight of the sample when you supply the heat. Hence it is called thermogravimetric analysis. So see here, see the uh, uh, graph of the thermogravimetric analysis. Y axis we have weight and X axis we have temperature. So we are studying the change in the weight of a sample against the temperature. So it may change like this. The weight of sample initially may be this one. After some time as the temperature increases, the sample may lose its weight and it may have the stable weight after further temperature. So this is how we study about thermogravimetric analysis. So what we are going to do here, we are going to supply the heat to the sample and we are going to study what is the change in the weight of the sample that is physical property. Next. We study about DTA, differential thermal analysis. So the name says a differential thermal analysis. Here we are going to study about change in temperature. See here delta T, this delta C, change in temperature versus temperature. So on y axis we take change in temperature and x axis we take temperature. This is called your differential thermal analysis. Why we call differential? The name differential came because we are going to study here two things. One is sample, another one is reference. So we are studying the change in the temperature of the sample with comparison to the reference. So we are actually studying the difference in the change in the sample compared with the reference. Hence the term differential. Hence the term differential. Remember why we use differential. Same thing applies to DSC also. There also we study the same. Here, Differential scanning calorie, sorry, differential thermal analysis. The name differential is quoted there. The reason is we are studying the change in the temperature of a sample with reference to the uh, reference. Okay, particularly with uh, compared with the reference. Hence the name differential. Thermal analysis means we are studying different temperature versus temperature or time. You can just take temperature here on x axis or you can take time also. Some uh, depending on the which type of uh, study you are conducting. If, the, if you are keeping constant rise in temperature then you can take the time there. So you can take both temperature or time on x axis but for now we will take the temperature. Okay. So it will be like uh, as temperature increases there will be no change in the difference in the temperature uh, different uh, change in the temperature difference of your sample and reference means they both are remaining at the same temperature once the sample if undergoes exothermic or endothermic reaction depending on that exothermic and endothermic if it is endothermic the graph will go like this then it will go like this so depending on the reaction which is it, it undergoes, sample undergoes, that uh, graph will change like this. 
This is called differential thermal analysis. Remember, we are studying change in temperature versus temperature. So, we are studying the difference in the change in temperature compared with the sample compared with the reference. And the last one is differential scanning calorimeter. Only both DTA and DSA are same. But only the thing that uh, changes here is we are going to study about change in the calories, change in the energy level, change in the enthalpy. So, it, we are going to take on the y-axis. Here we are going to take on the y-axis in case of DSC, that is change in the enthalpy. What is the change in the enthalpy we are going to take on the y-axis or you can take time or temperature on the x-axis. Time or temperature on the x-axis. So, here also the graph will come like this. I will show the graph here. Here again the uh, difference in calories of your sample with the reference is studied. Hence the term differential. Okay. Difference in the calories or you can say enthalpy or in the change in the energy levels of sample and reference are studied. How the graph will look for DSC is here. It will look like this. So change in enthalpy versus temperature. We get uh, as you start increasing the temperature at one point before melting. This is the melting point of the sample. Before melting, we have one more point we call it as a glass transition temperature. What is this glass transition temperature? It is a temperature where there is segregations of atoms. So, in the solid atoms are very close. Before melting, this atom will segregate. Means what? The solid will become soft. Then it will become liquid, melted. So, before becoming melting, before going for the melting, the solid will become soft, the softness. So, there is a some uh, transition, okay. That we call it as a glass transition temperature. It is also specific for specific substance. Then melting point is also a fingerprint uh, for specific substance. Then, if this, these two are physical change which you are going to study in case of DSC. If it is a chemical change, see oxidation is a... Uh, exothermic reduction is endothermic these are the chemical change which you are going to study so some uh, uh, substance may undergo oxidation at particular temperature some substance may undergo reduction at particular temperature so what is the change in the energy level of that molecule see compared to the change in the temperature if you study change in the energy level it will give more uh, meaningful uh, uh, analysis compared to studying only the change in the temperature as in DTA. So, DS is the advanced version of your DTA. Now, we will study about what is the uh, instrumentation of DTA and DSC. Both are same. So, what we will have? We have a sample holder. Okay, We have a sample holder where we keep the sample here. We have a reference holder. Sometimes we will keep that reference holder empty or we use some inert substance like silica okay so generally we keep empty so we use aluminium pans pans will be there so aluminium pan one pan will hold this is aluminium pan here what i am writing here this is aluminium pan i will write in red colors here this is aluminium pan these two are aluminium pan so whatever the inside aluminium pan is there this is your sample okay so this is your sample. So, we keep the sample in sample pan, we keep the reference in reference pan. Then, uh, the other part of instrumentation here is heat source. There is a heat source which supply heat to the sample and the reference pan. We try to see this, okay, heat source. We try to see this in the uh, diagram. Uh, then, after the heat source, we have detector that is thermocouple detector. This detector will detect the change in the temperature. Further, it will be converted into energy by the software which is present in the computer. We try to see this in diagram. Okay, we try to check here. Yeah, see here for DTA. So instrumentation instrumentation for DTA, how it looks here. So we have a reference pan. We have a sample pan. I'll just take this one. Okay. We have a reference pan here. We have a sample pan here. Then we have furnace which supply, uh, which uh, 
is uh, used to supply the heat then we have thermocouple detector then this is the sample temperature and if you measure both uh, reference and sample temperature this will be the uh, temperature difference between sample and reference next temperature versus time or we have difference in temperature versus time so this is how the graph of your uh, dta looks like then we'll move on to the differential scanning calorimetry this is the instrumentation for differential scanning calorimetry both apply for the this instrumentation will apply for the both that is dti as well as dsc so we have sample holder we have reference pan okay sample we have polymer here then we have heater that is the source for the heat then we have thermocouples here this everything is connected to computer which will regulate the heat flow as well as it will monitor the results so directly we will get the results so in a nutshell what is your thermal analysis thermal analysis is study of changes either physical or chemical changes in a sample by supplying the heat is called thermal analysis i hope you understand thank you